Abortion is liberation. It's freedom. It's a choice. It's hard. It's easy. It's an enigma. It's all of these things wrapped into one. The way that our society has depicted abortion, it has never been a liberation. It has always been um, stigmatized. Being a project that doesn't hold back, that shows the blood, shows the pain, really pulling back the curtain of what abortion really looks like, I feel like goes a long way in validating those feelings that people have had for centuries. During my abortion, I had doulas with me and one of them snapped pictures of my abortion experience and I was able to use those photographs to process my experience, to see things that I had missed and to share my story when I was ready to do so. I had no idea what to expect when I was going into my abortion and so we figured that if we were able to photograph people's medical abortions that we would be able to put the pictures out into the world and let people know what what to expect. We've seen lightheartedness, joking, um, fun, and then we've seen prayers, we've seen tears, we've seen regret, and some of those things are fleeting, um, but they're still present for some people. And there's so many photographs that I love from the project. Um, one specifically is a picture of a pregnant woman in a bathtub and she has a little whale on her water spout because it's the bathtub that she bathes her children in. And I think that that's really poignant because most people that have abortions are already parents and that's a statistic that gets overlooked a lot of times. There's also one that sticks out that she's putting a heat pad on her stomach and smoking a blunt for pain management and I think that that's just always an amazing photograph as well to show just the different types of relief that people can get from different types of things. We never see somebody that's happy to have an abortion. Um, we never see somebody that's nonchalant about having an abortion um, or another abortion. Um, we definitely hear it as like a, a one and done kind of radical last option kind of thing. Um, but that's just not the truth for some people. And I feel like all of, all of these stories should be told. When I had my abortion, we felt that medical abortion specifically was not shown in the media. Pill abortions were not very well known at the time. And thankfully, they're becoming more and more well known these days, um, especially with COVID and everything. One of the things that I wasn't prepared for was kind of the discomfort that you go through. You do have contraction like pain, um, cramping. There's sometimes nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, things like that, that the medication can cause side effects from. But for the most part, it's a lot of waiting, you know? And I think that that was something that I wasn't quite prepared for either, that sometimes the medication comes into your body and then you just have to wait for the pregnancy to be expelled. We've never faced something like this with our rights being taken away um, before. So um, that's terrifying <laughs> in and of itself. Um, but I'm in a solid community of abortion of providers that are um, prepared for this day. And I know that abortion's not going anywhere and that um, medical abortion by pills especially is safe. It's sad and terrifying that that is what it's come to, um, but I am glad that it is a safe option, that we're not in the clothes hanger days or the knitting needle days like that we were you know, 50 years ago. Um, so everything has moved forward in my opinion in a lot of ways, even though the Supreme Court is trying to pull us backwards.